hair always looks like such a mess when I start these videos. So this week I'm in need of kind of a quick and easy project. You know, I always do this. I sit down and I'm about to talk about my fabric and then I don't have the fabric in my hands. Hold on. So I have this fabric, which I don't normally like pink things. It's just not my cup of tea. But I found this at a thrift store for like three pounds I think it was for this whole thing. It's actually, it's a deceptively large amount of fabric and it is just fabric. Normally I find like bed sheets and things, but this is literally just a bolt of fabric and I don't know where it came from, but I wasn't about to question it. It's weird because it's not very wide, but it's really long and I'll show you when I like roll it out. But I thought that this would actually be a great um, bit of fabric for an apron which I've been needing because I recently started baking a lot of bread and I know I'm very late on the trend because everybody was baking bread in, in lockdown and I only just started, but I'm enjoying it. It's gonna be really simple. I'll maybe, hang on. I'll put something over there of the design that I've kind of figured out, but it's just gonna be like a square front. I want a pocket on the front and then I think I'm gonna do like a gathered skirt that ties around the waist and then like a, a halter type strap for the neck. So yeah, I don't imagine it's gonna be very complicated. I'm gonna take some measurements real quick, probably off camera, and then we'll just cut out the fabric and get to it. I'm starting this quite late. I only just got home and it's already like 5 p.m. So I don't think I'll get too much of it done today, but hopefully this can be done tomorrow. Hopefully it'll only be a couple day project. So yeah, let's get to sewing. Okay, I've got my measurements. Clearly I am an artiste. <laughs> and I'll just go ahead and cut it out. I was about to patch the pocket onto the front of the apron bit, or the, the bib, but I kind of think I, want, I might want to embroider something on it. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. In the meantime, I will start on the skirt and then I might have dinner. So I'm not going to get a whole lot done today, but um, progress is being made. Okay, so what I'm realizing is that what I should have done is sandwich the uh, the bib in between the waistband and the skirt so that it would go like this, but it would have been here so that when I flipped the waistband around, this would already be kind of trapped in there with the skirt. Um, it would have been right here between the seams. So that would have been the smart way to do it. This is enclosed and then the waistband just easily flips around and we finish it there. I didn't do that. So now I'm kind of trying to puzzle out how to fix this, which is most of my sewing projects. If you follow my channel, all 15 of you, which is exciting. I hit double digits. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Anyway, I might just double fold this um, with the wrong side facing out and then just kind of tack it on this way so that it's kind of behind the 
the waistband. This is a very bad way to finish this. Luckily, so I had originally got this fabric thinking, okay, it's a lot of fabric. I can make an apron for myself and an apron for my friend. So this is the apron for me. So when I do it for my friend, it will be a lot better because I will have figured out how to do things that I do not know how to do yet. So I think I'm just gonna do it like this and just kind of tack it down over here and then we'll keep going with the waistband. Okay, I changed my mind again. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hand sew this pit on because I can't figure out how to do it with the machine. I'm sure there is a way and I'm just, you know, bad at using a sewing machine. I'm gonna do this bit by hand since I have to do the embroidery on the pocket by hand anyway. I might as well just, while I'm hand sewing things, I'll, I'll just, I'll do it then. So I'm just gonna finish the waistband as is, um, which means, you know, I'm gonna just flip this around, tuck that under and sew it down, you know, like a waistband. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Hold on. There it is. <laughs> I mean, it looks ridiculous with this outfit on, but um, I actually kind of like how it looks. It's very, like, floofy. Um, this is kind of a stiff fabric, and I think it didn't like gathering. It wasn't very happy about that, but whatever. I'm fine with it. It's, it's fun. It's floofy. It ties in the back. There's... I feel like I should have made the waist strap a little bit longer because I don't have a whole lot to tie in the back, but it's fine for me. And literally all that's left to do now is attach the bib and embroider the pocket and then we're done. So I might leave that for tomorrow because I feel like I've made really good progress today. I was not expecting to get this much done today. Granted, it is 8.45 and I haven't had dinner yet because I got kind of in the zone and I um, forgot to eat. I'm gonna go, but I will see you tomorrow and we'll finish this thing up. Right, let's just ignore how messy my hair is right now because I just got home from a long shift. It's been a couple days, actually. I literally have not had any time to work on this apron. But the good news is I'm almost done. Um, so like I said last time, I really just have to attach the bib to the, uh, the skirt bit and put on the pocket, which um, after uh, deliberating with my friends, I decided on chef. So that's what I'm going with. So yeah, just two really quick bits that I need to sew on and then it's pretty much done.
wrap-up time. So I think this turned out pretty well. I'm, I mean, it's functional, which is the important thing is that, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm actually going to get a lot of use out of this and I'm really mostly pleased with it. The only thing that I think is a little weird is this skirt bit. Like I said, I don't think this fabric really wanted to be gathered. I think next time I would pleat it. I'm going to ask my friend if she would prefer a pleated skirt after seeing this because this is a lot. It is very cute, don't get me wrong, but it's just <laughs> maybe not exactly what I was going for. So I think I would pleat it next time because I think that would help contain some of the uh, the bulk here at the waist. And like I said, I would make the waistband a little bit longer just so I have more to tie. And obviously there were some problems with how I, you know, structured it. Yeah, if I was gonna do it again, I would do, you know, the the bib when I did the waistband and everything. I explained all that. I'm nitpicking like I usually do because I actually, I really love it. I think this neck bit is maybe a little bit too long. I didn't measure that super well. So I would be more careful with that next time, but I could always just literally pin it in the back here and that would be actually perfect because the rest of it, everything fits pretty much exactly the way I want it to. I mean, it's an apron, it doesn't really need to fit. And I like the pocket. I feel like that's gonna be useful when I'm not using my phone to film. I can put my phone in there and have my recipes ready to go when I need them. What else? I mean, chef. I do like that part. <laughs> I'm really glad I embroidered that. Um, my friend wants me to embroider cook on hers, but misspelled so that we have kind of matching ones, which I think would be really funny. I'm super pleased with how this turned out. Like I said, it was just a quick and easy project and I, I think it turned out well. So thank you for coming along on this apron making journey. I hope it was fun for you. It was fun for me and I will see you next time. Bye. Let's go, Brad. I don't know how to pose for thumbnails. Think I'd be better at it by now, but nope.